your young ones contributes to an industry now worth over $30 billion. Wow. And no matter how old your kids are, brands are constantly competing for children's attention and affection with new products. But one Aussie toy maker has taken Toy World by storm with her ballerina doll nominated for an international award and now attending one of the world's biggest toy trade shows in New York. US correspondent Alexis Daish went along for a look. In America, they don't do things by halves, and where we are right now is no exception. Welcome to the biggest toy fair in the Western Hemisphere. About seven football fields worth of toys. Some old, some new, but all promising to please the kids. Actually, not just kids. I love it. I can't stop bouncing all day long. This is where the world's biggest retailers and distributors come to eyeball the latest and greatest toys. And there is quite honestly something here for every kind of kid. From old school toys like yo-yos and building blocks to bigger toys. Beep, 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 beep. There we go, it's like a real car. Yeah. Cute toys, flying toys, weird toys, even lollies. Basketball legend Shaquille O'Neal officially opened the event, pushing for children to spend more time outdoors. Play football, play basketball, swam, play kickball, play tag with me. So uh, it's all about, you know, just keeping children active. And there's plenty here for that, like this world first two level trampoline. You get that roller coaster feeling. So when you're jumping from the top to the bottom, you get an extra 70 centimeters of kind of drop. bumper car but then smaller. Some toys stick around for decades with good reason, like connects, building sets on an impressive scale. The nice thing is you can build really small and get started very easy, but then if you had 10 or 15 or 20 of these sets, this is what you could build. It's huge. It's the biggest event in the, the whole industry. So we go to several toy fairs throughout the year, but New York is the one. And in amongst these thousands of exhibitors, we find an Aussie toy maker who's showing them how it's done. We're just like, what? A little company in Australia and we're beating Frozen. Of over 2,500 entrants, Maddie Hunter's Ballerina Dreamer doll was nominated for Doll of the Year at the Toy of the Year Awards. So for us to make the top five doll of the year against Mattel and LOL Surprise and, you know, it's really, it is really big. Yeah, that's massive. And so what does the doll actually do? So she's a ballerina. I'll turn her on. She can pirouette. She can shuffle her feet as well. Hi, it's me Chloe. So happy you called. Maddie also saw a gap in the market for interactive dolls, developing the Call Me Chloe. But what's now grabbing attention is her Gemex jewellery making kit. This is one I've prepared earlier. It just pops out of the mould like that and that's actually a hard plastic. Um, and you can probably see as well it's got a little hole in it. So that enables you to make charm bracelets. Lego has gone next level, now incorporating smartphones into the way you play. So pretty neat. So it's merging the physical and the digital world, which we know obviously Today's kids are very into tech and using smart devices, but obviously still hands-on Lego building. But some kids just have a need, a need for speed. We've got pickup trucks, sports cars, and we've also got some great ride-ons you can do stunts with, lots of tricks. But as we can tell, you're unlikely to outgrow this toy. No, you could drive this one for many years. <laughs> oh, how cool. You get the kids. No, I know. I want half those toys we just saw. God, we had sticks growing up. That's all we had. <laughs> <laughs> but you use them well. A lot of fun. Coming up on today, remember.